So one of the biggest things about these Zombieland movies is uh, is old dude's rules. Columbus's rules. He has like 73 of them, right? Yes. But they keep on forgetting the biggest one. And it's the one that I like to think that our family has. What's that? I ain't got to outrun the zombies. I just got to outrun your ass. Yeah. Cardio. No, that's not cardio. I just got to outrun you. You going to get eight. Oh, wow. That's yeah, what we're doing. That's how we're doing it. Oh. Mm. Well, you know how we're playing uh, the zombie game? Resident Evil? Yeah. And you had an old friend call you because you suck at yeah. the video game? Yeah, I suck at it. Yeah. You're going to die, too. Yeah, probably. So we're going to die. We're going to be zombies. Yay! So I'm just, I guess I'm just going to hit the music. Yeah, like, we, we're going to own this. My sister is gone. She picked up a boy. He's from Berkeley. Berkeley. You don't have weed, do you? <laughs> do I look like the type of person that would have weed? I'm sorry. Boom! Yeah! I have nothing against hippies. I just want to beat the shit out of them. We're gonna go get her. We ride it, dog. Start talking. You first. Oh, my name's Tallahassee. I don't know what it is, but I hate zombies. Not just like, you know, zombies as an enemy, just zombies as a concept. Because like, when you really think about it, we're their food supply and the way that they increase their numbers. Yes. So, how does that work out? I don't so know. How, how are we gonna get eaten, but also be the way that they propagate? I guess that's their culture. No, there's no zombie culture. We're not or their race. We're not gonna do this. We got zombie land. Double tapped, or double tap, or double tapped. Double tap. I think it's double tap. Just, yeah, just, just, just double. Just double tap. Tap. No need to conjugate that verb. Double tap, and this you 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 get what you get. You, you with this movie, you get what you get. Yeah. It's it's the sequel to the one that happened. Uh, shoot, was it ten years ago? First. Uh, it said a decade. It's been about a decade. Yeah. Two thousand nine. Yeah. And here we are with Zombieland Double Tap, and they are settling in to a much more domestic life. And that's basically the, the not crux, but the, the theming of this movie is just like where your family is, where your home is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because they start off, you are in the White House. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which I thought was pretty awesome. Yeah, you're right there. You're in the White House. You're settling down. You you got a nice little place where everything is all calm and everything. <laughs> but people aren't happy to just be settled into one spot. No. And that's just basically where the movie just goes off. And it it hits the usual tropes. It it does. It's it's not a movie that takes itself seriously. Yeah, it, d- which it definitely is doesn't take what itself made it seriously. very fun. The only problems that like I really think you would have is it really relies on what happened in the first movie. Uh, it, it really falls back into a groove where you talk about the rules. The rules take a big chunk of this movie and a lot of the gags, actually, all the side gags. Yeah, actually, the rules is the movie, if you want to, because you just automatically. I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't take I would. the movie. I wouldn't My opinion, the movie. I would. Regardless. It, it falls into the you. Uh, it falls into what happened in the first movie, where you, yes. you a lot of the gags uh, center around the rules. Uh, they bring in three new types of zombies. You got the Hawkins, you got the other uh, Homers, and the Ninja. Yeah, and another special one that's actually these are more evolved zombies. They're harder to kill. They are frustrating. I mean, I wasn't going to say that, but okay. Well, since you went there, yes, they are harder to kill. They introduced the fourth type of zombie and that's basically your biggest antagonist in this aside from you know the whole dealing with family and 
where what constitutes home. Yeah. And you got to deal with Jesse Eisenberg being Jesse Eisenberg in this movie as well, if that doesn't get annoying uh, over time. Uh, I, not really? Uh, well, it, it, it did annoy me. I, I enjoyed him. So. After a while, after a while, it could kind of get grating. Just a little bit. Just oomph keto. But there's really nothing more about this movie. It's just exactly what the first one was. A, a nice little romp with a bunch of deaths, a bunch of gruesomeness that happens. But, I mean, they're zombies, so nobody cares. Yeah. Uh, again, we got the rules involved. We got new zombies involved. Yeah. And just the family trying to get back together. Uh, Woody Harrelson reprising his role as Tallahassee. Mm-hmm. You know, he he hit it up. I do have a complaint, oh, which I, I was going to save to the end. So they go to Graceland. Mm-hmm. They take their asses to Graceland. Mm-hmm. We've been to Graceland. Oh, I know where you're going because I had the same question. It's like we're, we're like y'all acting like Graceland is in the middle of nowhere. Just yeah. like you, you take a, it's off of it's off of Highway 51. 51 yeah. It's off of Elvis Presley Boulevard. Yeah. There ain't no Hound Dog Hotel. There is no Hound Dog Hotel. The hell? That's, that's not a thing. Like that, that whole set piece was like thing. was like hitting me wrong because like we down here in the mid south, yeah. we down here around Memphis, we driven by there multiple times. It's like it's it's no seclusion to right there. Hound dog hotel. No, but interesting concept. But that's not a thing. There is no hound dog. No, hotel. it's not a hound dog hotel. What, what's what's the name of the hotel? Like the Heartbreak Hotel. Yeah, it's, it's a Heartbreak. Hotel. Yeah, and it. Doesn't it, it, look like that. It doesn't take away from the movie, but it's just one no. thing that just like stuck in the back of my head because I'm like, we've been here. It don't look nothing like that because I, I, I get it. If I, I know you, you can't just like film a location, you can't. Yeah. But at the same time, like, bro, could, could y'all, uh, could y'all handle well, that a little bit better? Just, just a little bit better. Well, I took it as when I saw that and was like, yeah, that was bugging the crap out of me. I took it as this is their world. I'm pretty sure that's reaching. That's reaching a lot. But I took it as you this was are their reaching. world. This was their world. You are this reaching is where they live. Hard. Because think about it, they traveled from like Washington to Tennessee. How far is that? Oh, that's gotta be like a good Exactly. 18, and they never hours. stop for gas. Yeah, okay, okay. So, so that's why I said that. Okay, so so there are there are some instances of you gotta have your suspension of disbelief. Okay. Like the gas thing, I was thinking of the exact same thing. It's yeah. like, how are you getting gas? Where are you going to get gas from? Never saw a gas I'm pretty station. sure, like, you know, they have to control the pumps. Yeah. There ain't no gas station that's in it just going to sit there and chill and be yeah, like, no. pumping you gas. Like, in a, another scene where the beast was taken out by, uh, by a monster truck. And I'm like, okay, I know the specs of yeah. the beast. Ain't no way, um, like, a, a, the beast could withstand, like, artillery fire. Yes, and, man. And no that's, monster truck is so going to flatten it. No. So, like, there's a lot of suspension of disbelief, but that's that's actually where the movie got a little bit fun because, like, once you kind of shut your brain off, it was like, okay, well, I mean, I'm going to fit in there well. So, so for that, yeah. I'll give you that. Okay. Yeah, because, like, there's no gas station. There are no restaurants. No nothing. Nothing. It's just like... Oh, they had a mall. Move, move, move they had a piece, mall with piece. Forever 21 and then Sax on Fifth Avenue. They did. They had to focus on the mall, though. Well, I'm just saying, yeah, nothing else was yeah, there. Yeah, on the mall, no. So they, so they decided to bring in some new people, uh, namely my girl, Rosario Dawson. Woo-woo, she's a kaiju. Moving on. Rosario Dawson gets thrown into this, and she's, she's like, straight-up badass. Uh, everybody like, but everybody in it is is focusing around our usual four: our Woody, our Jesse, our Emma Stone, and our Abigail Breslin. You know, our Tallahassee, Columbus, Wichita, Little Rock. That's, that's basically where the focus of this whole movie is. I will have to say one person: Zoe Dutch. Oh yeah, we, we she we, was we, super so we got, fun. So we got two extra people. Yes, in like this, she this was second super fun. Movie. Yeah, she was very fun. Yeah, she was actually was kind of fun. I was I was kind of hoping that they would throw throw something. Uh, they did. Nice they threw her. Yeah, and they threw us, her. Yeah, uh, with her, but like they didn't. But like the twist that they do do with her, you kind of see coming. You do, but she was. But it's fun. It's still fun. Refresher. It's still yeah. stupid fun. It uh, is. So. Let's just go ahead and give us our good and our bad and then our score. Okay. Go, give me your good. Uh, it doesn't take itself too seriously and everybody basically played their role. They did. Like, everybody was enjoyable. Okay. Even uh, 
Jesse Eisenberg didn't really bother me. <laughs> okay. I, was, I mean, it, it didn't. The bad, it, you get what you get. It's it's just, it's a dumb, stupid movie. That's it. It's just, right. you get what you get. It's not really much of a movie. It's just more of, it's a movie that doesn't really take itself seriously, which makes it good. But then again, so it, it could probably play out very easily. I, I won't say that's what make it, makes it good. It's just, it's dumb. It's, but it's, Fun, dumb. Yeah. Like, if this was annoyingly like, okay, these people are doing stupid things that don't make sense, then I'd be annoyed. Yeah. But it's dumb, but it's it's dumb that fits within their uh, within their universe. Yes. So, like, it's, it's okay to shut your brain off. Again, that, that, that was a little nitpick about Graceland, because I was just like, no, that's not how it looks like, but I'll take it. Yeah. I'll accept it. Yeah. But at the same time, I am going to be bitching about it just a little bit. Yeah. But like, no, it's it's dumb fun. Uh, it's not long at all. Uh, mm -mm. Again, it's like you know, it's a, it's the same length of Maleficent, and I didn't feel like I was there for a long yeah, time. Yeah, I didn't either. The exact same. I was same enjoying length. it. Yeah. So like, I enjoyed it. I didn't. I didn't feel annoyed by it. I didn't feel like it overstayed its welcome. So it just got in, got out, gave you the fun that you needed, and didn't overstay its welcome. Yeah. The bad is it. This is a dumb movie. Yeah. It's dumb. You're not going to get anything special out of this. It's mm -hmm. just going to be okay. Again, Jesse Eisenberg kind of gets on my nerves just a little bit. Just, just like with a with the overly awkward, like fast talking. It, like after a while, it's it's kind of uh, like I, okay. I kind of want to like reach to the screen and just be like, just shut up for five minutes, just for five minutes. Let everything, let everybody else speak first. I don't need, I don't need your remarks. Just stop. Okay. Yeah, there, there was a couple scenes where it's just like, okay, I'm done. I'm done with this dude. Let's let's move on. But beyond that, I, I can't really think of anything like super bad about this. The climax was again yeah. stupid fun, but it's yeah. set within the uh, within the. You know the the theming of the movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was a pretty decent journey. I, I, was, I was okay with it. Like, of course, it's going to be more room for sequels later because you know, it's it's yeah, it's like, just one of those movies. But yeah, it's one of those movies. But it's it, it's it's pretty okay. It's pretty yeah. okay. I, I was okay with it. So go ahead, give me your score. Let's get out of this. Uh, three stars. Bing. Go for the three. Mm -hmm. So you're good with three. I'm good with three. Uh, yeah, I give it a good three stars. Um, it's not gonna, it's not gonna knock your socks off. It's not gonna amaze yeah. you. Hey, yeah. you might even like forget a few things after you see this movie. Yeah. But you're not going to hate the experience. Yeah. Uh, if you see it coming around your screen one more time, you'll be like, okay, yeah, you can take it. Watch, yeah. watch it again. Yeah, it's um, one of those you can like play in the background and still know what's going on, but not be like. Irritated over it. Yeah, like you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna hate this movie. You're, you're not probably not gonna love it. it. Might not be your favorite, but it's gonna be fun. You hear that, Disney? Like, while you're there, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, you I'm hear okay that? With fun. Yep. Let's have fun now. Yeah, you hear that, Disney? Wow, you're, you're, freaking Maleficent. You're gonna be stuck on on Maleficent. Whatever. For a little bit longer. So we don't need no more of that. You you gonna get this content struck because you you gonna piss off Disney. I ain't with that. <laughs> Anyway, y'all know y'all know what it is. Uh, go ahead. Uh, if you agree with us, if you don't agree with us, if you think that we're being stupid, if you think that you know we're handling our business, go ahead. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what's happening. Make sure to subscribe because we got videos every single day. We got button smashing and dueling mm -hmm. mics and a bunch of wrestling stuff that whenever you know wrestling comes around, we get ahead. We go ahead and handle it. Yep. And uh, we have merchandise. We got shirts, hats. A bunch of other stuff up in the store, hillcountry.com slash shop. You got anything else? That's it. Y'all just remember to keep smashing. We'll catch you later. Catch you out. Deuces. Bye.